Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Virginia and the craft for today is knoll binding or needle binding. If you don't know what knoll binding is, it's basically a technique in which you can make a fabric out of loops or knots using one needle, like this one. Um, and you can make loads of different things. You can make something very simple like a hat, like this one that I made here. Or you can make something a little bit more complicated and more modern, like a sweater. Like the one I did. <laughs> um, today, what we are making is actually a mystery. <laughs> because uh, Karen Beam, awesome knob in there, uh, she has made the stitch along for the quarantine days when we are very bored and need something to do. So uh, she's created a mystery stitch along. Just as a disclaimer, this is not a lesson, this is not a teaching video. I am not going to teach you how to needle bind. Uh, for that, there are amazing resources like Nuna Quintat. I will link uh, the website in the description. Also, go and follow Karen so you want to um, know patterns for knoll bending and just in general just submerge yourself in the knob in the community it will be amazing and you will learn a lot here i just want to share uh, my experience on how i'm making this particular item and definitely if you have questions about knob bending or anything leave them down below in the comments and i will try and help you as much as i can Woohoo! so let's dive in into the actual construction idea project whatnot um my plan is to uh, use uh, quite cheap yarn um, that we have plant dyed ourselves here in the village uh, the main one is a wonderful green that uh, we plant dyed just a few weeks ago and if you want to see how we did it with onion peels in an iron pot Go ahead and watch my previous video. I will link it somewhere, somewhere up there and also down in the description so you can watch that. We went Viking for that and we you can see this wonderful village too. <laughs> Viking Valley Gudwangen. And I am going to be using the Mammon stitch instead of Rindle stitch, which is the one that Karen was using. Uh, so if you like the idea and you want to solve the mystery, stick around. And I will see you when I start the first chain. So this is what I do to start mammon stitch. I start with one end pretzel knot. And then I make all the loops I need. So this time it's mammon stitch, so I need three loops. One, two. and three one two and three it makes it so much easier to start so thanks karen for the tip <laughs> now it's mammon so two loops behind one on the thumb so let's start The first step of the stitch along consists of a chain that is 35 centimeters long. So that's what we're aiming for right now. You can also tell how far I've gone on the stitch along by the amount of wool fluff that I have on my pants. <laughs>
is how it's looking so far. Pretty good, I think. So let's continue. So this is the finished chain. It's turned out to be a little bit longer than 35 centimeters, but that's okay because it will decrease anyway. And now we have to turn the corner. So this is the tricky bit. We have to increase three loops in the same one. So basically it's increasing three stitches attaching to the same loop, which is going to be uh, that one. Ooh. Let's see how that goes. Hmm. So corner is turned and this is how it looks. I think it turned out, I mean, not the prettiest, but quite okay. And seems to work, which is the main point anyway. The point of this step right now is to make a flat piece. So that's why we need to go around and around this first chain. So let's go ahead and do that. Step one is finished. I've done the starting flat piece that you can see here. And now I just finished this part. I just need to pull the stitches so I have a nice finishing point. And I know Karen, what she did was basically continue the chain and then started doing the kind of ridge uh, straight away. But I want to try and see if I can start a new chain and then I have the ridge all over surrounding the flat piece whereas she at in one corner needs to sacrifice a little bit of the ridge just to continue the chain so i'm gonna try and do that so i'm gonna sew this end and start a new chain on the back to create the ridge so and this sewn in we turn it around and start a new chain um, this is the right side of the piece and this is the wrong side or front side and back side, whatever you want to call it. It's not either right or wrong, but it's a... Basically, this is the side that faces you and this is the side that faces the person in front of you or the world in front of you. <laughs> Normally, if I'm continuing my chain this way, I will bind that stitch but what we're doing now to create a ridge on the side of the mystery item is bind this one on the back. So this one here. There we go. I don't know if you can see it very well. Hopefully you can. a few stitches and this is how it's looking it's standing so that's good and if you see from the side it's creating a good shape so let's continue is done and we see if we can uh, get the whole idea there we go that's how it looks so now I will keep binding the row just as normal and keep building this wall that we're doing here <laughs>
this is the bag right now. We've made some progress, as you can see. I think the color looks so great, the color combination. Look at that. Ooh. It's standing quite nicely, as you can see. Uh -huh. But we have a problem. This is all the yarn I have left. <laughs> One skein and a little bit here. So what I'm trying to do now to save on some yarn is I am starting to decrease on this side. So it's going to be an interesting shape, an interesting something something okay i'll see you for the next step i guess okay so we are back and this is how far we are mm -hmm. as you can see as i said before i started decreasing on both sides and now we're moving on to the next step for that i know most of you by now probably know what the mystery item is A hat, obviously. <laughs> so probably the next step will be very confusing. We're making handles. <laughs> okay, I will stop joking. <laughs> yeah, so the next step is to make handles. I will continue decreasing this way. And yeah, I think it's going to have a creative shape. Definitely not the shape that the actual stitch along has, but... You know, I guess it's going to be a mystery, not only for Karen, not only for you, but also for me. Because I just like experimenting and breaking the rules sometimes. <laughs> so anyway, I only have this much yarn left from the green. And then I'm going to use this one. It is a tiny bit lighter than the bottom, but I think it's going to work well because of the earthy tones and whatnot and anyway it's what i have so we'll just have to use it <laughs> so here is the bag from a little bit closer i already started the handle part as you can see which is quite simple it's just stop joining the stitches here then do a chain and join it back whenever you feel that the hole is big enough and then do the same on the other side so also you can see here the decrease i've been doing on the side which i think looks quite cool hmm. i'm um, pretty excited to see how it's going to turn now <laughs> it's gonna be a surprise for sure hmm. okay back to work <laughs> da, 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 da. and this is the end result here you can see probably better the decrease I did and the color change. I think it ended up quite okay. I uh, like the rim part for sure. Um, it has a nice shape. As Karen put it, it looks like the waist of a woman and I kind of like that. Um, I also think that the happy accident, as Barbara says, um, of decreasing the here on the sides because I was running out of yarn it's quite a good idea because then everything is gonna stay inside and it's harder for stuff to just fall out of the bag so I think it's actually quite good I will uh, fill it with probably more yarn to continue nulling sounds like a good idea anyway if you uh, like the video uh, go ahead and click like Subscribe to the channel and go ahead and click the notification bell so you know about any releases of new videos. Um, go ahead and follow me on Instagram too, at Virsama, so you also know uh, how the projects are going. Also, you can see a little bit of my life around here in the village and whatnot. And also, leave your comments on below. Let me know if you like the changes I made to the pattern, if you would have done something else. If you have done the stitch along, I would love to know too. And anything you want to tell me, of course. I will read all of your comments. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much all I've had to say for now. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Let's see what I come up with. <laughs> but in the meantime, I will be here crafting. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs>